remember the Dennis the Menace comic strip, which later became a TV series in the 70s. However, not so many people know much about the origin of Dennis the Menace itself, or the characters that made up the TV series. In 1951 precisely, Dennis the Menace made its comic strip debut in 16 newspapers. Soon after, it became so popular all over the world that in 1959, it was adapted into a TV show. The comic strip featured little Dennis, an energetic yet troublesome little boy who constantly got into quarrels with his neighbor, Mr. Wilson. However, behind the scenes, the favorite characters of the TV show had their own struggles. In this video, we've discussed what happened to them and where they are today. The Original Dennis Hank Ketchum, the original creator of the Dennis the Menace comic strip, found inspiration for the comic in his own son, Dennis. One day, Dennis's mother tried to get her son to take a nap, but instead of getting a nap, Dennis made a huge mess of his room. Dennis's mother said to Hank, your son is a menace. Ketchum, being an illustrator then, used this moment as an opportunity to create something extraordinary. And the rest is history. The original Dennis, Dennis Ketchum, didn't seem to enjoy a happy childhood. At age 12, Dennis lost his mom as a result of drug overdose. While his parents were on the verge of divorcing, his father, Hank, moved to Switzerland with his new wife. Since Dennis couldn't adjust, he was sent back to a boarding school in the U.S. later in life. Dennis joined the military and fought in the Vietnam War. After the Vietnam War, Dennis suffered from post-trauma stress disorder, which also affected many of the soldiers that were involved in the Vietnam War. Since Dennis didn't have much of a father-son relationship with Hank, he remained estranged from his father, who once said to the New York Times, he's living in the East somewhere doing his own thing. Jade North Jade North played the role of Dennis in the series. Although he became one of the biggest child actors in the 60s, he, he actually had an acting career right before this role. When Jay was six, he was in the TV show Cartoon Express. After featuring in Dennis the Menace in the 70s, he became the voice of Bam Bam Rubble, after which he had some acting roles in films, such as Zebra in the Kitchen and Maya. Herbert Anderson Herbert Anderson, who played the father of Dennis, grew up in California, where he attended Oakland High School and the University of California, Berkeley. He was the son of an immigrant from Norway. Although Herbert is most remembered for his role as Henry Mitchell, he led a successful career, having many acting roles in his life. He played in shows such as I Dream of Jeannie, Bewitched, Family Affair, Batman, The Man from Uncle, Sea Hunt, My Three Sons, and The Bing Crosby Show. He retired in 1982 after he had a heart surgery. Anderson died in 1994 at the age of 77. Gloria Henry Gloria Henry played the role of Dennis's mom, Alice Mitchell. Although her birth name was McHenry, she changed it to Henry when she moved to Los Angeles after graduation from Worcester Art Museum School. She started working on radio shows and in small theater groups. In, in 1959, Gloria landed the role of Alice, a role that changed the course of her career. However, after featuring in Dennis the Menace, her career was not as successful, but she did have small roles on Silver Spoons, Sister, Rita Hayworth, The Love Goddess, Dallas, Falcon Crest, The Brady Brides, The Snoop Sisters, and Hazel. Gloria Henry is now 93 years old. Joseph Kearns Joseph Kearns played the role of Mr. Wilson, but he died from intrabacral hemorrhage in 1962. Joseph Kearns appeared last in the episode, The Man Next Door, which aired on May 1962. Before being Mr. Wilson, Kearns was well known for being the voice of Doorknob in the 1952's animated film, 
Alice in Wonderland. Some of his other roles were in TV shows like I Love Lucy, My Little Margie, and Perry Mason. Gail Gordon After Joseph Kern's death, Gail Gordon, who earlier played Mr. Wilson's brother on the show, took up the role as Mr. Wilson. Before Dennis the Menace, Gordon was a radio actor, known by his work in The Amazing Interplanetary Adventures of Flash Gordon and Green Acres, and had a role on The Lucy Show. Here's Lucy and Life with Lucy. Aside from being an actor, Gordon also wrote two books, Nursery Rhymes for Hollywood Babies and Leaves from the Story Trees. Gordon died of lung cancer in 1995 at the age of 89. Dennis and Mr. Wilson were actually the two key characters on the show, so it wasn't surprising that after Joseph Kern's demise, ratings for the show dropped and the fourth season of the show didn't even land in the top 30. Gordon actually did a nice job, but he wasn't just the original Mr. Wilson, and the show wasn't the same. Subsequently, the show was canceled. Network Fear Although Little Dennis is actually a good boy, he often gets into troubles, especially with his neighbor Mr. Wilson. There arose some concerns that kids who are watching the show will try to imitate the behavior of Dennis. As a result, the network told producers James Fonda and Harry Ackerman to tone down the antics of Dennis. They did, and it was clear in the later seasons. If you hadn't get the opportunity to follow Dennis throughout his adventures with Mr. Wilson in the 60s, you don't need to worry. You can easily stream those on YouTube or Hulu. 146 episodes of pure fun. Thanks. For